Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday. Yay. October 9th. Is it the 9th? Yes, October 9th. And uh, I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing today. So let's get started. Um, today, we're going to take a quiz. When we're finished with the quiz on cell processes, I'll give you a few hints right before we take the quiz. Um, I just want to remind you that yesterday, and I have it all written out here for you for today's assignment, yesterday we completed as a class, if you chose to join us, slides one through eight. We also went over some of the answers to Wednesday's notes activity. So that's in that slideshow if you want to look it over. Um, I hope you come to class today, uh, October 9th, so that you can take the quiz with us. We're going to do that first off and get that taken care of. And then we're going to spend... Um, Let's see, um, for a weekly quiz and getting started, we're going to get started on a write-up for the egg lab that we talked through yesterday. We'll be spending several days on this, so don't think you have to do the whole thing. Um, each day I'll tell you what parts you need to work on and get taken care of. All right, so when we come back on Monday, we're working on writing up an actual report. All right, I'll break it down for us each day. So this is what that document looks like. Hopefully it'll tell me to make a copy. No, of course not. It goes to the teacher thing. So, But it'll tell you to make a copy, so you each will have your own copy of this. So this is what we looked at yesterday. We talked through what happened to the eggs. This is what your quiz is going to be over, these concepts in these first few slides. So you might want to look through them. As a class, what we wrote, we wrote together in the green is our writing there. So you want to read over, this is the lab proposal that we came up with. And we filled in the first few things of the template. Where should I put myself here? I'll put myself up here. Um, of the template for the scientific process. I see I have some of this not in green, so I will change that to green. This is the uh, part of the worksheet that we looked through. So today, when you're finished with your quiz, you can get started on slides eight and, well, nine is already done for you. Eight through 10, okay? I already have your guiding question. But then you're gonna write a claim in a formal sentence based on your interpretation of the data. It's kind of like a hypothesis, but it's written in a little bit stronger, almost like an argumentative sort of form, all right? And then your evidence, um, I want you to make some sort of graph or some way of illustrating the data. So you're not just showing numbers, but some visual way of seeing those numbers so that you can see kind of what the trend is. And then in your justification of your evidence, you need to be explaining what osmosis is, what substances move and how do you know, and what does this evidence why does this evidence that you have, why does it matter? How does it actually support what you're trying to claim and say about osmosis? Okay, so that's kind of really hard upper thinking skills. So even coming up with those three, they're almost like three little paragraphs, is going to be difficult. It's going to be a challenge for you. So you're going to struggle a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, everyone's going to struggle a little bit. Even my in-class kids are going to really struggle with this. I'm only going to help them a little bit. I'm going to help you just as much as I help them. I might help you guys a little more because you didn't actually do an experiment and they actually did an experiment. So they're writing theirs about something a little different. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. Um, I'll probably talk through the beginning of this right before we take the quiz. We'll take the quiz and then I'll let you work on this, the guiding question, claim, and evidence. And there's your guiding question. Then we're just going to take that template right there and write it out in kind of paragraph form. Okay? So I've got those slides set up for you. So there's the guiding question. Your claim you're going to actually write here. You're going to put your evidence right here. So actually, it's more like you're going to do slides and then justification. Okay? Two, three, four. So you're going to, you're going to do the whole thing, but I don't want you to do the whole thing over the weekend. Let's put it that way. Um, even just coming up with your claim over the weekend would put you right where you're supposed to be for Monday. All right. Awesome. I will see you guys at 2.15. And if I don't see you, I should see you. You should all be able to show up. Um, 
but I hope that you all have a great weekend one way or the other. And um, I will be talking at you like this on Monday. All right.